I learned about the law of attraction from the soulmates. Hey guys, just dropping in to do another little video on the soulmate experience. And although he was a soulmate, he was also a, a teacher for me. Um, he had taught me about the law of attraction and I made me realize everything that I've been creating up until this point in my life when I was doing that, which I didn't really understand until after he had brought that to my attention and had the experience of it. And I looked back and reflected on my life, you know, to see where I was doing that. And so that kind of made sense to me, kind of put things together for me because I was at points in my life of why are these things happening to me? And so one of the experiences was learning about the law of attraction. Um, so the how that came about was he didn't literally just sit there and say, do you know about the law of attraction, right? He wasn't, I learned by the experience what it was showing me and I was paying attention to tuning in. Um, and it was like this, connection that I was needing to fo to pay attention. It grabbed my attention as he was saying it, and it kind of made me question and wonder and contemplate it. And so basically, we were had already all, got all our gear done because we were getting ready to go kayaking. And that was one of our things that we do, go out kayaking fishing so when I was fishing at that time. And we would, this was like our weekend, like we would just go, um, kayaking and fishing, but it was raining. We had everything ready. And we're just waiting for the rain to blow over and stop. We're in Florida, so it doesn't last long, right? So uh, we're just waiting for it to stop so we can get out there on the water and see how the conditions would be. And so as we're waiting, I'm sitting on the couch just observing. And then he, he had seen this person just walk down the street. And for some reason, he went out and walked and he went and talked to the person, came back in, and then did whatever and then came back and stood in front of the window and he as he's looking and gazing out the window he just said it's so amazing how things just appear when you want them right and I was like what is he talking about like there was no communication between us but it was just this energy and vibration that was like to pay attention to what he's saying right and it made me question and wonder, like, what is he talking about, right? And so didn't really dive into that and, you know, on that conversation. And it was just a statement that he made, which was the teaching. And so from there, it kind of evolved because when you have these interactions, it's, it's uh, from my understanding, my experience, when you're having these interactions with your soulmate, like, there's much more to it than just the experience of being with another person in a relationship. Right? There's a purpose for there being a soulmate relationship, twin flame relationship, right? There's a lot of lessons that are in that. And there was with him, you know, um, there were with other people, but this is a whole different level, right? And so I was learning about the, learn the law of attraction, which brought my attention and helped me remind me, like I looked back at a time when, when I had um, questioned about what was that place that I was passing by every day all the time and it was like ended up living there right which led to something else that led to something else that led to something else that led to something else and it was the path of it right not that I really had the intention to live there but I had the question like what is existing there right and so I ended up living there by way around way of being not directly and then from there I had ended up getting into other other stuff but it, it's just amazing how like you can kind of now see it when you look at it from you can see the point of view and the, the construct of it and the understanding of it from the view that I'm looking at it now and I, so from that moment that he had said that to me nobody ever brought that to my attention before about law of attraction never knew it existed and as part of my awakening, you know, after the awakening, <laughs> these were, he came in to bring more things into my awareness at that point as a teacher, not just as a twin flame, my soulmate, but, um, and so it was that inquisitiveness that I had from his comment that he made 
that set me on the path and then having him ha uh, leave when, when our um, experience was done, I was kind of guided into going to these metaphysical stores and then along that path, which led me to this one law of attraction group that, <laughs> that they would have every Saturday morning um, at this one metaphysical shop. So I started learning about the law of attraction at that point. So it's those seeds that are planted by our experience that leads us to other things along the path. And even though, because I had put that intention and inquisitiveness on what he had said as my attention to it, it created a pathway to that learning about it and bringing that into my space and awareness. So I understand now about creation, manifesting, things like that. Um, from that one perspective, right? And so I understand it, how my life got to be where it is, to where it is, to where it is, to where it is, and from that, and it's by choice. We always have choice, whether we think that we're creating it or not, um, by that perspective, whatever we're experiencing. And so it can be just simple, such as like being inquisitive to something that somebody says in passing that plants a seed for you, right? And so twins, Twin flames and soulmates are not always romantic partners. I also want to put that out there for you. They can just be a friend. They could be your pets. They could be anybody that you come in contact with that brings your awareness to something, right? But this person not only was my twin flame, um, who sparked a lot of stuff, a lot of awareness, a lot of teachings, a lot came from him, right? And so that was a huge experience on all different levels, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Um, so... Um, definitely, you know, a great experience, you know, with that and learning about the, the law of attraction from twin flame soulmate, whatever you want to call it. I like to call him <laughs> more of a twin flame because um, it was more intense on a not just a physical communication level or awareness, but we we're so connected, like one, like like there was no separation between us. Like I knew his thoughts. I knew everything because we were so deeply connected on that because of our intimacy level. Um, and so it was just what brought, you know, he brought me to a lot of the awareness that I have. So definitely, thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.